What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this issue we're going to be doing stage 36 which is the fuel tube and steering wheel part. So this is what they should look like, like this. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly grab them out guys and then we're going to have a nice quick look at them and then we're going to build. So there you have it guys, these are the bits that come in this issue. We're not going to run through a parts check off but I just wanted to let you know this piece here, the steering wheel, is really nice and it's made of metal. So that's really nice, such a good touch there. And the, the, the steering wheel feels like rubber around the edge. So that's really nice. Love the bit of detail that they put into that. So that's really clever. Uh, we do have a pipe here as well. We have a chrome section and it looks like we have like the indicator, maybe the wiper stalks uh, there. So um, what we're gonna do is we are gonna crack on and get on with this. Uh, we do need to do these pieces first. So we need 36C, uh, which is going to be the piece that's elongated like this and we need to put it into 36D. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to build any of this. It just looks like we're just placing them inside each other, uh, which is going to be, I don't know, rather annoying because we don't get to build much. But this is asking us to pop them in and then just just so that they are almost just opposite each other, really. So they go like that. I don't want to push it in too far um, because I'm not too sure whether the steering wheel is going to be involved in this at some point. Um, but it just shows that it looks a bit like that once you push them two pieces together. You are left with the steering wheel. We do nothing with this, so that needs to just put to the side again. I don't like when we do that because obviously we have bits left over that we're not too sure of. We still have two screws. What it's asking us to do here is asking us to make a figure B, uh, which we can go do, uh, but we need the car for that. So we're just gonna go grab the car, bring it over now that it's all put together and looking absolutely lovely. We need the back of the car, which is what it's asking for. So we need the back. It's asking for us to turn it upside down first, which we can do now because we haven't got to really worry about too much. So that just needs to go around that way. And then the picture is showing it's coming out that side. So what we'll do is we'll just lift that round here. And then this piece will just slot into there. So I just want to just have a look where it wants it to go. So it's saying for it to go inside this hole here. So that will go in there. And then it goes down into that other section down there like that. And then that will go underneath. And then what we need to do is we will have to screw that into place. So that will just push into there like so. And then that sits on there like that. And then underneath here, we will need to screw that into place. So if we lift it round, we're about to do that. So we're lifting it up that way. And I'll show you whereabouts that screw is. So that screw hole is just there. And that's where they want that IP screw. So it's gonna go ahead and do that quickly. So that just goes on there. Screw that up nicely and make sure it's straight. Don't over tighten it, there's no need to over tighten it. There you go. And then that fuel pipe there is now coming out the bottom there. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's just sitting here on that section and then there, and then there's a little IP screw there. And then the only annoying part again is that we're left over with some bits, um, you know, that are gonna hopefully not get lost. So you have the steering wheel, which is there, so you've got the steering wheel. I'm guessing maybe this chrome section will go over the steering wheel at some point, like that. And then you've got that bit as well. So those are the bits that we're left over with. So that's all we get to do in this issue, guys. I know it's not a lot, but I can't wait to be able to put them on at a later date. So um, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe just by clicking the button just here. And uh, please like the video if you like it. And um, please comment if you are building the Ecto-1 yourself. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. So see you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.